Good afternoon, everyone. Today we have our 2004 230 R230 Rabalo center console, powered by a 225 horsepower VTEC Honda outboard with just over, I think it's 1,145 hours. The boat has been ma well maintained and Botel kept its entire life. This is a big 23 guys with deep gunnels, nice big center console, a pump out head under the console. It's a bigger 23 and it's a nice heavy boat so it'll handle some crappy conditions. Off the back we have an integrated uh, swim platform and motor area, transom area. The uh, motor's far enough back to where you barely hear it, kind of like a bracket or a gill bracket. The boat motor has hydraulic steering, swim ladder, Lenco electric trim tabs off the back. This boat has never been bottom painted either, guys. Inside the boat, it has newer bolsters on port and starboard, as well as this back cushion was somewhat recently replaced. Aerated live well is right here. Big, huge aerated live well. Bolster on that side, both in good shape. You have twin fish boxes on port and starboard with pump outs. You have a nice cooler storage area underneath here that slides in and out for beverages and or bait or fish or whatever. Tackle storage under the behind the console as well on the leaning post. Not the console. But it also has rocket launchers on the T-top. Non-skid throughout the entire boat so you don't slip around when walking barefoot. As well as a self-bailing cockpit. Leaning post here has upholstery that looks somewhat original. It does have some discoloring on it, but no major rips or tears and it's still soft to the touch. This walk around is uh, not a walk around, but the either side of the console is large enough to where you don't have to turn sideways. It's a nice big boat with really deep gunnels. Uh, forward we have uh, cushions for bow as well as your little shotgun seat located here. Um, also a little bit of wear but still soft. We also have more cooler storage here and storage underneath the bow of the boat. One big locker. So there's tons of storage on this boat as well as um, an anchor locker forward located there. Nice bow pulpit with stainless bow rails. Boat's in really good shape for the year, guys. Another nice cool benefit of this 23 is a uh, porta potty, I'm sorry, a pump out head with a macerator, although you can't use those anymore unless you're offshore. Nice deep console, big enough for you to stand up or sit down. Uh, that's really nice little feature, especially for more storage. Uh, I think that's basically everything except the console here, which uh, is standard gauge instrumentation, a Garmin color GPS 188C sounder, it's a fish finder GPS combo, standard gauge instrumentation, that hour meter is not legible anymore, it's kind of sunburnt, that's why we got the computer readout, hydraulic steering, a newer hydraulic steering actually yeah, by Seastar so it looks like somebody put some money in there recently. AM FM radio with two speakers on either side of the electrical box and a VHF radio. This is a uh, ready to go fishing guys or even enjoy a day out on the water with the family. It's a nice multi-purpose boat that uh, you can do pretty much anything in the Chesapeake Bay that uh, throws at you. Gary's gonna get a run. Very silent motor compared to, well, two strokes really. It is a four stroke.
So four strokes aren't as quick out of the hole as the two strokes are, obviously. Uh, when we've run this boat, I believe... We ran the boat at, um, I'm sorry, ran the boat just about, uh, what was it, um, 38 wide open, 39, and uh, cruises all day between 29 and, whoop, I lost you there, sorry, 29 and 30. Sorry guys, I was looking at the boat instead of uh, the camera here. So, cruises between 29 and 32 miles an hour, wide open, 38 to 40. Remember at M&M Boats, we sell boats for less, guaranteed. Keep an eye on our inventory, it changes constantly. Sometimes you'll look at it and there aren't many or there are a lot of sold, but we remove them at the end of every month and refresh them with new. And we get boats in weekly as well as daily. So keep an eye on it. Fate, where you can find us on Facebook, our YouTube channel, or our website, of course. Thanks for watching, guys.